Today we are not only showing you around at the jaw-dropping wine estate at the south shore of Lake Balaton, but also having a chat with Falco, the owner of Terra Catering, about the latest trends in gastronomy and why we believe his food should be on every event. So join me for a full day site inspection at Christinus, where we are guiding you through the winemaking process, having a picnic with a view, and also tasting their dinners with its finest ingredients. But first, let's see the event spaces, the capacities, and what kind of gatherings we can have here. I'm having a chat with Florian from Christinus, the general manager. Thank you very much for your invitation. Can you please uh, show us around and say a few words about where we are and when did you open this wine estate? Yeah, pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Yeah, the Christinus Wine Estate uh, is here since uh, five years. The winery itself is 10 years old. We are producing uh, wines in a holistic and biodynamic way. Also outside, uh, we have big spaces, right? We have uh, 100 hectares. So we have also events and picnics in the vineyards, also wedding in the vineyard. It's very trendy at the moment the outside weddings and uh, we are open house. We have a restaurant and a little hotel with 10 rooms and uh, we are nearly open the whole year, welcoming guests and we are very happy to have them. How many bottles do you produce a year and what kind of wines you have? Yeah, it depends a little bit on the weather conditions, uh, but it's around 500 to 600,000 bottles a year different varieties. In white wine we have international varieties like Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc, Hungarian varieties like Irzai Oliver, Söke Barat. In red wine, Kek Frankos as a Hungarian variety, but also international varieties like Cabernet, Merlot. In regards to the weddings, I have to ask, are we allowed to do any weddings outside without having any tent? Yeah, sure. So uh, we do everything what makes our guests happy. And then, you know, when the clients come to us, they always ask, until what time can they have the party? Can they go wild? Can they go crazy if they want? <laughs> yeah, they can here. So we have nearly no neighbors. And with them, we have a good uh, uh, relation. So they can party um, until they drop. <laughs> <laughs> we have here uh, also plenty of opportunities. Over there, we have our restaurant for, as I mentioned, around 60 people. We have a running tapas or table where we do wine tastings, where little snacks can come out. Yeah, that's the wine cathedral, we call it, right? And it will be uh, reconstructed. So on both sides will be closed with glass. And the end as well, in the middle here will be a big uh, dining or tasting table. And uh, on both sides you can see then uh, the barrels and bottle aging. Uh, so you sit in the middle of the wine. Sometimes we have here, for example, yoga classes. And yoga we, classes? Yeah, maybe? we remove um, the tables and then there's a, a yoga class if it's only a few people, for example, from the hotel. So if we're talking about a seated with round tables, how many people can you actually fit here? Seated, maybe around 80 to 100 people. And uh, we have different settings, lounge chairs and uh, couches and round tables and standing tables. We can organize uh, different kind of concerts for them. And then do you prefer buffet style here or you can do the seated uh, plating as well? We always suggest a seated dinner with service. So this is a more elegant style of event space, yeah. which would be perfect for weddings, for example. I can see that now the setup is for rather weddings than for some kind of corporate. Exactly, now we decorated it uh, for these days. Uh, in different wedding settings, together with uh, Terra Catering. It's also multifunctional, we can close these parts. They are now open to separate the room a little bit to make it uh, more comfortable. The barrel room, we have around 500 barrels here. And, uh, are they full of wine now? No, uh, not all, uh, that's good. 
because this means we sold some wine. <laughs> you did a good job then. <laughs> Can you or do you sometimes do two events at the same time or you only accommodate one, smaller or bigger groups? No, we can do events, uh, more events at the same time. But sure, it depends a little bit. Some people want to have exclusivity. It depends a little bit on the size of the group as well. So we say if somebody is coming over 100 people, we close the place for this group normally. Preparing food in front of the guests, um, making them part of your kitchen and, and culinary experience. Coming with a nice tomahawk steak and slicing a beautiful two and a half kilo uh, meat in front of you, would you say no? 